sights on. I like drone, twilight zone, fly like I'm stone. Yeah. They way gone, J way is known. Go hard, go home, get money long. My life up, flow like up, hoes like yup. I'm like fuck. Where's my phone? Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? Welcome to Sin Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. I wish I could go outside, but it's a little bit too nasty out there. So listen, I'm going to find somewhere else to talk to y'all at, man. But real quick, though, man, this is the thing, man. I really just want y'all to understand that what y'all doing right now is just so important. It's so important to your life. It's so important for your future. You know, it's so important for your health. Man, it's, it's just, it's no words and no way to put it, man. It's not enough words for me to explain, you know, how serious this is. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, when you talk about the addiction to fapping, that's one thing. But the whole addiction to pussy and sex, that's another ball game. You know what I'm saying? Because... Yeah, you know, I tell you, man, you know what I'm saying? If that's what you want, and go ahead and knock something down, you know, as long as you're safe, man. But, man, man, that's even looking scary out here. You know what I'm saying? Because anytime you, you know what I'm saying, you out there and you smashing something, man, you know, you're putting yourself at risk. You know what I mean? Especially if you're not, you know, uh, you know taking the proper precautions, you know what I mean? Even just getting it, even just linking up with these chicks these days. We talk a lot about that. You know what I mean? It's just like, yo, you know, you got a lot of people that's considering, you know, uh, getting into a relationship. They out there looking and searching and, you know, wait, waiting for that right one, man. But like I always tell y'all, man, at, when, when you even doing that, man, you got to consider yourself at all times. You know, because us as men, we've been programmed to be quick to just be like, yo, you know, what can we do for them? You know what I'm saying? And, and now that we waking up, now we seeing our value. Now we see the importance of figuring out and asking them, man, what, what, what can they do for us as men? Because we were so quick to validate them. We were so quick to put them on a pedestal and we were so quick to display our worth and not even pay attention to hers, you know, because we was more caught up into their flesh and all that other shit, you know, they ass, they titties, and they pretty faces, man, but that's what got us bit in the long run. That's what get a lot of men, you know what I'm saying, put in the ringer because they never figured out they true intentions. They didn't figure out these women true intentions and guess what? They got their ass bit by that snake. You know what I'm saying? And we were so quick to just put our cards on the table and tell them what we gonna do for them. Meanwhile, they just quiet. You know what I mean? They talking and giggling and loving your sweet nothings, but not telling you anything that they gonna bring to your table. Not telling you any ways of how they gonna help you out or how they gonna bring value to your life. You know what I'm saying? So when you bring that in, when you when you involve that, when you out here looking for a relationship, and then when you just out here just trying to have casual sex with these females, man, it's just, it's so dangerous. And it's so crazy, man, because a lot of us, we found retention. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, thank God that we have, because we were so reckless. We was running around, man. It was almost like just you know, just hypnotized with blinders on, not knowing what the fuck we doing, not caring about the dangers and all of that shit, man. Listen, y'all, you we, we have to gain control. We had to. We had to because if we didn't, man, listen, a lot of y'all done already done got bit. I done got bit. A lot of us then then had to deal with a situation. You know what I mean? And like I said before, it don't matter you know, whose situation is the worst. If we all at war. All of our situations are severe. And, you know, running around not, you know, paying attention to the dangers of even having casual sex was reckless. You know what I'm saying? Because now you're not even thinking about disease. 
you're not thinking about potential, potentially, you know, knocking the, knocking these chicks up, you know, whether it was, uh, you know what I mean, not being safe, you know what I'm saying? And you didn't, you didn't did all of this and, you know, and now it's like ball game because you have no control over that. At the end of the day, the women are the gatekeepers and they make the choice when they open their legs and let you in that gate. But they also make the choice if they get the if they want to keep that baby or not, if they was to get pregnant. You ain't got a choice in that. They decide that. So pretty much your life is in their hands, depending on their decision. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of these chicks then got bodies under their belts from abortions already. You know what I'm saying? So you got to just know what you're dealing with, man. It ain't as it ain't it ain't it ain't as clear cut as we thought it was. You know, being a man out here and dealing with these females is more dangerous than we thought. You know what I'm saying? And we've been out here just compromising ourselves, compromising our integrity, compromising our future, compromising our health, compromising our well-being. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yo, man, it's, it, I just had to just tap in with y'all and explain how crazy it is that we've run across this, something that could help us and change our lives because we seeing a lot of people that's just going through a thing. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, it's, it, you, you, you got to understand that you blessed, man. A lot of y'all blessed, man. We blessed to have this, you know, this practice that we have, to have these journeys that we have to better ourselves, man. Because running around how we was, man, listen, man. It's some lost motherfuckers out there, and they just going to be even more lost, man. And that's why you have what's going on now, man. Look at Louisiana and all them fights that was going on at that high school. Look at all these youngins killing each other, man. It's because ain't no fathers around. Ain't no fathers around. And meanwhile, these kids was getting used as pawns. These kids was getting used for child support. These kids was getting used to keep us around you know what I'm saying so we just can't even solely blame them a lot of us man we just didn't we a lot of people out there didn't have retention they don't, you know what I mean they didn't have semen retention they wasn't caring about themselves they didn't value their time they didn't value themselves they didn't value their energy so guess what they was willing to give it to any and every female you know what I mean and now these kids getting raised by ratchets you know what I'm saying? Getting raised by a bunch of ratchets. You know what I mean? That we didn't, that we didn't, that we didn't spill seed in. You know what I'm saying? We didn't spill seed in ratchets, bad parents, and all of that shit that's just was that that was just using these kids and that been that's been reckless with their vaginas since the beginning of time. You know what I mean? And we was diving right in these chicks that's been reckless with their vaginas for so long. You know what I mean? And they was good at hiding that. You know what I mean? Just because we was blinded by thirst and lust. You know what I mean? So we are blessed. We are blessed. But you have to continue on this path, man. It ain't no going back. Because guess what? All those dangers that I named, that's what's waiting for your ass. That's what's waiting for you over there. Baby mamas. Possible disease, child support, divorce, heartache, pain. You know what I mean? Your finances hit. Your finances down the fucking toilet, going straight to her, going straight to the government, bro. You know what I mean? All because you wanted to fuck something. All because you saw some ass and titties. All because you didn't have control. Guess what? People could laugh all they want and call this a placebo all they want. They could call this whatever the fuck they want, bro. They could call this whatever they want. But all I know is I'm not going back. I am going to be safe with my life force. I am going to care for my life force. I am going to hold on to my life force and do what's best for me. You have to do the same. 
Because these broads that y'all looking at and trying to give it to, they ain't worth it, bro. They ain't worth it. You gonna know when you run across a real queen, bro. And you gonna have to probe her ass. Yeah, fuck us getting probed by them. We gonna have to probe they ass. We gotta probe them to see where they mind is at, to see where they mental at, to see if they have any mental stability as all, at all because these women are going crazy. They so thirsty. They need a man so bad. And it's a reason why they ain't got one. Yeah, it's a reason. And y'all not digging deep enough. Don't be a victim out here, man. Pay attention. And hold on to your energy, man. It's your life force, man. At the end of the day, man, listen. I don't give a fuck what we have. If we, we, I don't care if we got houses, if we got cars, if we got everything in this world. Man, listen. At the end of the day, bottom line, all we have is our life force, bro. You erase all of that shit, all we got is our life force, man. So hold on to it, man. Hold on to it until you see fit. And you better be right. You better be correct when you choose to give it to somebody. Otherwise, man, listen. You're going to have a long, dark road ahead of you, man. So heed these words, man. Take them in, put them somewhere, watch this video as many times as you can, even when you're thinking about it. Even when you're thinking about it. Because, you know what, man? The days of all that shit that's going on out here, man, it's coming to an end, man. It's coming to an end. And, 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 and with, with, with everything that we're doing right now, this work that we're putting in right now, it's, it's, make, it's tougher to feel sorry for the ones that's lost and floating around, man. That's on them. I'm going to continue to put out the info that I know and spread this word. But, man, understand this. If the word don't get to certain people, man, it just wasn't meant for them. A lot of y'all was chosen for this shit. And I'm going to just leave it at that, bro. Hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. day. I'ma keep all putting day. in work, yeah, that's all day. Uh, I'm in uh, here to do my job, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. What I do ain't day. a facade, this is all J. Uh, hustle hard, yeah, that's all day. That's all day. I'ma that's keep putting day. in work, yeah, that's all day. You know I'm in here to